The Avonworth School District defines inspiration as the action or power of moving the intellect or emotions. This message is reinforced with how the school district uses technology to prepare students for a global workforce. Superintendent Dr. Valerie McDonald explains. Our use of technology is by design. We spent a lot of time and a lot of resources in developing a strategic plan. In this plan, we talk about the use of technologies, about modernizing our technologies so that our students have access to the best and cutting edge technologies. Avonworth is a small district in the Pittsburgh Northern Region with more than 1,400 students. The high school has a 99% graduation rate and the district is considered a top tier facility for scoring way above the state testing requirements. The key to success is simple. Educators think out of the box. In fact, the box was thrown out and replaced with savvy thinking and technologically based curriculum. Because we've placed such an emphasis on this, we believe that the whole focus should be that, that technology can be used as a tool to access information and to be able to analyze that information appropriately and make informed decisions so that we can continue to produce students that can compete globally. Let's talk about explaining your answer. At the elementary school, instructors developed a math pen pal program where entire classrooms participate in video conferences with students from another district. Students also answer open-ended questions, share solutions, and discuss math theory and operations. Well, we had the opportunity to not only respond to our pen pals through letter writing, but also respond through um, seeing our pen pals by using the polycom. Um, and the students had the opportunity to, we held a math class within both school districts. Um, both teachers collaborating together, the students got to speak directly to their pen pals through using technology. And so you weren't in the same classroom and you weren't taught the exact same things to figure out a problem. So you can have completely different answers, but they can both be right at the same time. At the middle school, students are creating video news productions with software superior to some of the local television news stations. What's up, Adamworth Middle School? Today is Thursday, October 1st, 2009. The students produce stylish websites, podcasts, and videos using iMovie and FileMaker Pro. In fact, they produced a school public service announcement to help prevent the spread of the H1N1 virus. They're using the technology to uh, create a story. And the story, whether it's something to do with what they're learning in school or something that they're interested in, um, the story itself, it, it allows students to gain organizational skills, communication skills, collaboration skills when they work within their um, crew. The scenario is, is BevCorp doing, to blame. is to blame or are they... The high school students are making global communications a reality by linking through teleconferences media. with students from other countries in real-time interactions. The students tackle world problems and simulations. Okay, let us... Okay, let us talk and we're going to discuss here. Through these teleconferences, students are able to communicate with leaders and professionals in their respective fields, gaining a knowledge base that could never be achieved through standard textbook learning, but through technology that is designed to engage and hold their attention. We've been very fortunate to work with the Challenger Center, which is out of uh, Wheeling Jesuit University, uh, to have some real-life simulations that really fit our curriculum. Uh, one example is a NASA simulation that we do with our physics department. And in fact, we may turn it into a whole thematic day uh, with the, the physics simulation being a part of it, where students are required uh, uh, to be able to apply their, their knowledge in physics to, to help solve problems. Um, and the whole idea behind the NASA simulation is there is a space shuttle, and students are put into different teams that they have to work with to make sure that there's enough oxygen on board. They're looking at a um, uh, space storm that they have to be able to, to have data, to, to read, to uh, troubleshoot, to make decisions, 
And there's a, a control person in NASA who is uh, helping to facilitate this uh, with the students. As part of the technology movement in Avonworth, all classrooms are equipped with smart boards, laptops, and computers. Students graduate with an understanding of the Microsoft Office suites, including Excel and PowerPoint, standards in today's workforce. The district also recognizes social networking and communicating, using the online mediums like Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube to communicate with students and parents. And while technology remains an ever-evolving tool requiring districts to make financial investments, Avonworth makes every effort to streamline its budget and continue to remain responsible in balancing a global education with taxpayer investment. Well, as in all places, budgets are typically tight. And here at Avonworth, that is pretty much the, the same. So one thing that we try to do is look at the various technologies that we're offering and make informed decisions about which ones are appropriate for our students, which ones will make them competitive, which ones will help in engaging them in learning. Avonworth will continue to define inspiration by using technology to prepare students for today's global economy. Reporting for the Avonworth School District, I'm Sidney Alvarez.